Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here. All right, so I know you guys have heard about Sonoff. If you've been around home automation at all, they're great, they're cheap, uh, they can do all kinds of cool stuff, especially if you uh, flash them with the Tasmoda firmware. So here is my tutorial on how to flash a Sonoff. So obviously there's a few things you're going to need for this tutorial. One of them, of course, is the Sonoff. Uh, there's lots of different versions of them. Uh, this tutorial I'm using a Sonoff Basic. Um, you can get them on Amazon. You can definitely get them cheaper um, at other places. Uh, it really just depends on how long you want to wait because they will be shipped from China. So it'll take a little while to get there. But as long as you're willing to be patient and wait for them, they are definitely worth the wait. For this tutorial, you're also going to need a serial to USB adapter or FTDI adapter. Uh, you definitely need this in order to be able to hook up your Sonoff to a computer to flash the new firmware onto it. And then, of course, lastly, uh, what you'll need is uh, some sort of jumper cable or jumper wires to uh, connect the adapter to the Sonoff. I use these male to female adapters. I thought they were great. Uh, made it easy to just uh, set the pin in the pinhole on the Sonoff and then, of course, uh, plug in the uh, female side to the FTDI adapter. So let's do a quick run-through of what we're going to cover in this video. This video is pretty long, so I'll try to cover everything as quickly as possible, but I want to make sure that uh, everybody can follow along uh, fairly easily. Uh, so we're going to start off by downloading and uh, installing the Arduino IDE. Uh, once we have that installed, I'm going to go ahead and download the uh, serial adapter drivers or the FTDI drivers uh, for my computer. Uh, once we have that done, we're going to open up the Arduino IDE and edit some preferences. Now we are ready to download the Tasmoda firmware. Uh, once that's done, we're going to copy all the um, Tasmoda files over to the Arduino directory. Uh, the next step will be to install the board manager in the Arduino IDE. Uh, now we are going to open up our uh, sonoff.ino file and edit the user config.h file. Once all that is done, we'll be ready to connect the sonoff to the uh, FTDI or serial adapter. And of course, before we can flash, we want to make sure all of our settings are correct in the Arduino IDE. The next step, of course, will be to flash the Tasmoda firmware. Once the flash is complete, we will boot up and configure Tasmoda on the new Sonoff. Once we have that configured, we're going to add the MQTT switch into Home Assistant. And then lastly, I'll just kind of show you what that looks like uh, working with uh, Home Assistant and the uh, Sonoff. So let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start by going to the Arduino website and download the Arduino IDE. Uh, now for me, I had some issues with the latest version, 1.8.5. I downloaded an older version of the software, which is 1.8.3. You're more than welcome to try it with 1.8.5. Um, you should still be able to follow along fairly easily. Um, it's really just a preference. So here I am downloading 1.8.3. I'm running it on a Mac. There are other options there you can choose depending on what system you're going to run it on. Hit just download. Of course it takes it a second to download. Once that's downloaded uh, we can open up the zip file and then of course just double click Arduino. And it'll take a second to open up, especially the first time that you run it. Alright, so now we're going to download the FTDI uh, drivers for my Mac and my serial adapter. I don't know that you will have to do this. I know that the default Mac drivers that are built into the Mac OS didn't have all the features needed 
in order for this to flash properly. So I had to download the Mac OS uh, drivers for this in order for it to work properly. So just click on the latest version there and download it. It's a pretty small file, so it should download fairly quickly. And as always, I'll have all the links down in the description so you can just copy and paste them and hit them from there. So go ahead and run through the little package installer on the Mac. Uh, basically, you just follow all the steps and then of course you'll have to reboot your computer at the end for everything to work properly. Now I'll fast forward through this install so that uh, it goes a little bit quicker and we're not waiting around for it to finish. All right, so the next step is gonna to be to uh, edit the Arduino IDE preferences. Uh, if you still have Arduino open, then you can just go up to File and hit Preferences. If not, obviously open Arduino and then go to File and Preferences. And all we're really looking for is down at the bottom, uh, there's a spot that says Additional Board Managers URL. Now we get this from the uh, GitHub page for uh, ESP8266. Um, so I'm just going to paste it in there. I have it in the description, so you can do the same. Just copy and paste it in this section right here. Go ahead and hit OK. Now we are ready to download Tasmoda. So we'll hit the Sonoff Tasmoda GitHub page. I'll put the link down in the description. Um, again, I don't like to necessarily download the latest version of Tasmoda, uh, so I'm gonna go back one version to 5.11. Again, that's just more of a preference on my end. Feel free to do the latest version if you want. It should pretty much work about the same. I'm gonna download the source code, which uh, comes in a zip file. All right, now we are ready to copy all the libraries and files we'll need for Tasmoda to work properly with Arduino IDE. All right, so we uh, unzipped our uh, Tasmoda file that we just downloaded and we're gonna open up that directory. From there, there should be a section called lib. So we'll select that. We're gonna highlight all of the uh, files and folders inside there and we're just gonna copy them. We're gonna to go to uh, where the Arduino path is, which should be in our documents directory. Uh, it should be a folder called Arduino. And then inside that is a libraries directory. We're gonna paste all those lib files in there. And now we're gonna go back to that Tasmoda directory. And we're gonna take the Sonoff folder that's in that Tasmoda directory as well. And we're gonna copy it and paste that into the Arduino directory also. All right, now that that's done. Let's go ahead and install Board Manager for 8266 on Arduino. Under Tools, we're gonna go down to where it says Board and select Board Manager. And at the top, we can just do a search for ESP8266. We're gonna click on that. And the version that we want to install is 2.4.0. All right, once that's uh, installed. So inside that Sonoff folder, uh, there's a file called sonoff.ino. We're gonna open that up. It may take it a second for Arduino to open up all the way. We are ready to edit the user config.h file. So we'll go over here, hit the little arrow on the side, and we're gonna select user config.h. Now what we're looking for is a section called uh, Wi-Fi config tool. We wanna make one change where it says Wi-Fi underscore WPS config. We wanna change this to Wi-Fi underscore manager. Now what this does basically is if you power on this Sonoff, and it can't connect to the wireless network, then it's automatically gonna create an ad hoc network for you to connect to 
and basically set it up. This is great if you end up changing your wireless networks or you move this device to another location because if it couldn't connect to the network and you weren't connected to the Sonoff itself, then you would have no way to configure it. All right, so now we're ready to connect our Sonoff to our FTDI serial adapter. So here's the pinout that you want to follow. So you want to be able to line these up basically just like I have the, in the diagram here. And like I said, I use the male to female jumper cables. You can choose to do it any way you want. You can add a, uh, a pin header on there if you want, where you can just plug some adapters in that way. It's really kind of a preference thing. I was able to use the male to female adapters and I just set them in there. I didn't actually solder them in because I knew I didn't want to leave them in there. So it was pretty easy to do it that way. The biggest thing that you're gonna run into is you wanna make sure that you have receive going to transmit and transmit going to receive. If you do receive to receive and transmit to transmit, obviously it's not gonna work properly. Once you have all that uh, connected properly and you think you're ready to go, then we're gonna move on to the next step. Once we have all that connected properly, we want to make sure that before we plug in the FTDI adapter into our computer, that all the settings are set up properly for our Arduino IDE configuration. So this is the uh, settings that you want to follow on the Tasmoda website. So you just want to make sure that all these line up the same. The ones highlighted are obviously the most important. Once you have all those set up, then you should be ready to flash the Tasmoda firmware. All right, so when you're hooking this adapter up to your computer, all you really need to make sure you do is that you're gonna hold down the button on the Sonoff while you're plugging in the USB. Now I'm using my laptop, which has a little USB dongle adapter. So I already have that plugged in. I'm just gonna go ahead and hold the button down and I'm gonna plug it into my computer and that should put it in programming mode. At this point, we're gonna hit the uh, arrow at the top that's gonna start the compilation before it flashes. It takes it a minute to compile everything. Uh, once it does that, you should see it start uploading here in just a second. And of course you'll see it saying uploading now. Should start seeing lights blink on the adapter here as well. Takes just a little bit to flash and then it should be done. All right, it says done uploading. We are good to go. So in order to boot it up after you flashed it, you want to basically just unplug the USB and plug it back in. At that point, you should see it power up and then you can go look for that uh, ad hoc network. So give it just a second. There it is, Sonoff 2926. We can connect to that. This should pop up a page allowing us to configure the wireless parameters. So now I can just put in the SSID that I want it to connect to along with the password and basically save that. Go ahead and add, change the host name as well. I'm just going to call it test one. It's 
save here. All right, so let's go into the configure. Now that it's back up and running, we're going to change the host name. This will be the uh, host name of my MQTT server, which of course I have running on the same box as Home Assistant. Uh, client, if you want to give it a client name, I'm just going to call it test one for this tutorial. Now the username and password, of course, is uh, the username and password for your MQTT broker. Mine, of course, I'm running Mosquito. And then any other changes you want to make here, I'm going to add Sonoff to the front of this topic. Go ahead and save that. Uh, give that a second to restart. Once that comes back up, we are ready to move on to the next step. All right, so let's add this new MQTT switch into Home Assistant. So I'm gonna edit my switch.yaml file. Just gonna find me an open spot down here at the bottom. The platform, of course, will be the same as you can see above. It's an MQTT platform. And I'll put all this in the description so you can copy and paste it. Uh, the name, I'm just gonna call it test one. Now the command topic and state topic, obviously these are what you want to match what you just have configured on the Sonoff itself. So I, I set the full topic to start off with Sonoff and then for command it'll be CMND slash test one, which is the name of my uh, Sonoff and then of course power. And the state topic is about the same, but instead of CMND, I'm gonna have stat. payload underscore on will be on in all caps and then payload underscore off will be off in all caps that's kind of how Tasmoda is set up I'm gonna go ahead and set retain to be true go ahead and save this we're of course gonna restart home assistant for the changes to take effect Give that a second to come back up. All right guys, we made it to the end of this video. So let's go ahead and see what this is gonna look like uh, with Home Assistant. So as you can see here, I got Home Assistant front end pulled up. I have the, the web front end of the Sonoff on the side here. And we're just going to click on and off a couple of times between the two and just show you that these are synced up properly. So they're both showing on at this point. We're going to turn off the stone off. On the stone off side and you can see it went off on both. So they are definitely working properly both on and off. So this is pretty much the end of this tutorial guys. Like I said, it's kind of long. Uh, this is a little bit harder than some of the other tutorials that we've done just with uh, having to uh, set up the little serial adapter and get the pin out properly and all that kind of stuff. Let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So basically we started out, we downloaded and installed the Arduino IDE. Once that was done, we downloaded the serial adapter drivers from the FTDI website. Once we did that, we edited our uh, preferences in the Arduino IDE to uh, add that uh, board manager to it. After that was done, we were then ready to download Tasmoda from the uh, GitHub page. 
Once we did that, we copied all of the Tasmoda library and files over to the Arduino directory. Uh, once that was done, we installed the board manager on the Arduino IDE for the 8266. Uh, after we did that, we opened up the sonoff.ino file and edited the user config.h file. Uh, then we connected our sonoff to the FTDI serial adapter. And before we can flash, of course, we had to make sure all of our settings were correct on the Arduino IDE. Then we were ready to flash the Tasmoda firmware onto our Sonoff. Once the flash was complete, we were able to uh, restart the uh, Sonoff and uh, configure Tasmoda. And lastly, of course, we just added that MQTT switch into Home Assistant, and then I showed you what that looked like in action. Again, guys, that is the end of this video. I hope the tutorial helped. Uh, if you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. And, of course, as always, if there are any videos out there that you'd like to see that I haven't already gotten out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.